Hi guys. Uh, I recently got these uh, felt embroidery kits from Dollar Tree and I thought we'd work on one and just kind of give it a little review. Um, I didn't realize they have two different colors of fabric behind them. My thought behind this was is that I would use it like an embellishment on a, um, a little you know, in, in a journal. It says it comes with pretty much everything you need. So we're just going to find that out and uh, see what happens. I'm just getting the staples out of it so that I can get the stuff out. Instructions. Read all instructions before beginning the project. Do not pre-wash the fabric. Separate all the felt pieces. You may want to practice stitches before beginning the project. Okay. Well, this says I'm supposed to secure this in an embroidery hoop. So I may have to stop the video and go get an embroidery hoop because I don't have one here. Also, I don't know that I have that small of one, so we may have to do this without an embroidery hoop. Place the felt pieces and stitch to attach according to the following chart. But it said that the pieces were self-adhesive, adhesive felt pieces. No, I don't see the third adhesive. Then they surely aren't going to stay on very well with just the... Let's look at the other kit because this piece does have an adhesive backing on it. That's sticky. Let's look at the other kit. Now we'll not want to be careful and not mix up our pieces. These don't have any adhesive on them either. And I, I don't know, they're not going to stay down very good with just Place felt pieces and stitch to attach according to the following step in the chart. But this little orange piece right here is would only have that one, let's see, it says two and seven. Two, it's a black satin stitch, and then seven, you do a, a white French knot. So that's only going to be held together right there if you don't glue them down somehow. So I'm not kind of happy with that. So I think we're going to have to do some little bit of gluing. So I'm going to stop the video for a second and um, see if I can find a small embroidery hoop and um, kind of look at what I'm doing and decide what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'll be back in just a minute. 
Okay, guys, I'm back. First off, I do not have um, an embroidery hoop small enough to put on this tiny piece of fabric. If it had been me, I probably would have used a larger piece of fabric and um, so I could have put it in my hoop and then cut it down, but that's all right. Uh, this piece does have sticky on the back, so we're going to go ahead and um, take these pieces out and then stick them down. Um, I'm going to glue the other pieces down. I'm going to use this Gorilla Glue Stick, which is a permanent bond. Um, I don't want to use anything thick like Fabri-Tac because if I do, then um, I don't know that it will uh, let me stitch through it real well. So uh, that's a concern I have. Um, I'm trying to figure out how these go on here. Like I said, there's there's no sticky on these. Um, and the other kit was the same way. So it's not just uh, this kit. Um, honestly, the little pieces don't want to come apart very well. So I have to cut them. Okay, on the stitch chart, it does tell me how many strands of embroidery floss to use. It says to use um, two strands for everything. Um, five is a chain stitch. Eight is a back stitch. Okay, so we're just going to use two strands. And I'm just going to do all of the white stitching first and then all of the black stitching.
Okay, so um, <clears throat> that took a while, obviously. Um, I will be um, speeding that video up quite a bit. And I'm going to tell you what, I am not impressed. Um, you know, a lot of times the Dollar Tree products I think are great and I, I like them. Now, this only costs a dollar and a quarter. So, you know, it is probably worth a dollar and a quarter. But, um, first off, this felt is so stiff that even though it was a good needle, uh, it's a perfectly good needle. It works very nicely on most things, but it, I couldn't make it, it, it was a bear to punch through the felt. Um, I don't know whether it was supposed to have a sticky backing on it and it, and it came off because this piece had the sticky backing. Uh, the other two pieces did not. I did glue it down, but you know, the needle, the, the felt is so stiff that you push up through it and the needle pushed it away. So even the glue didn't help. And as far as this embroidery floss goes, this is, is very, very cheap thread and therefore made it more difficult to work. Um, I mean, granted, I knew, you know, it's a, a dollar and a quarter product, but it's, it just seems like it's it's not worth it to me. I, am I going to even do this one? No, because frankly, I think it's a it would be a pain. I I don't think I will. I might. It's, but it's not like it's, I will never ever buy another one. That's that much I'll tell you. Um, between the thread being poor quality thread and the felt being so stiff. If I had had, if I'd had regular felt and just done two, four little wings and then put the stitching in, I think it would have been a lot more fun. I did, will tell you it was more, a little more difficult because I did not have a hoop this small. Um, but it doesn't tell you what you need. Uh, it does say supplies needed a three and a half inch embroidery hoop and I didn't look. Um, so it does tell you how to do the different little stitches, but like I said, I, it wasn't fun. Let's put it that way. It really wasn't fun and I expected it to be fun. So, um, that's just my review of this Crafter Square, uh, little embroidery kit. I, I, I probably won't, I won't do the other one most likely. Um. And as far as extra thread, it's going in the trash because good embroidery floss is not that expensive. So that is what I think. Um, I'm sure that for somebody else, it might not be that way. Um, so please understand that this is my opinion and just my opinion. Go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.